We just got done out here with a thunderstorm, but today we're going to be talking about raising chickens out in the suburbs and some new information because the list can go, because I can go on and on about these lists. So firstly, I'm just going to restate some old information since some people weren't able to find that video, but you know what, let's, let's do this. So basically, the first tip I'll have to provide with you is that chances are you can't, we can't keep them in a pasture because if you have like a really small suburban backyard, then what you're going to need is you're going to need to just basically like free range them. But not in the way you think. Make sure it is possible for them to get on the road. And I've seen chickens do that. They absolutely traumatize their neighbors because they get into their garden. And that's one reason why you need to keep a fence in your backyard. 24-7 regardless. Why did I even say 24-7? What was even the point of that? But you know, just keep up a fence in your in your yard and then make sure the chickens are set free in that. Another thing is that the coop doesn't really have to be built as strong, but I'd still recommend it be really strong because coyotes, they can hop up to eight feet. So unless you have an extra tall eight foot high fence, then well, well you can't, you, you, you can't really have a really weak chicken coop and you can't really let them just sleep on the trees either <laughs> obviously you wouldn't let them sleep on the trees because out here in in the country areas i mean we keep our trees pretty nicely pruned so i don't think they can get up there now what i want you to do is i want you to check up with your city's law or town's law about having roosters because in a lot of cities six out of seven of them have have a ban on roosters the reason because like imagine like your rooster just like, decides to crawl at six in the morning and your and your sleeping neighbor just busts through your window with with a brick and then tells you to get rid of that rooster yeah that's that's probably why you can't have roosters out in the suburbs now as i mentioned earlier about housing your chickens they still do need a house so how do you build a house? Well, there's tips and tricks in a video that you should check out and it'll definitely be on the end screen of this video. So watch to the end to see that. Obviously, you're gonna need to build a chicken coop regardless because they just can't sleep out in the trees or or try to break into a shed. Nah, they, they can't do that. I mean, if you have like a useless shed on your property, you can sort of transform it, but still, it doesn't matter. Now, other essentials that you're gonna need for raising chickens out in the suburbs is stuff like chicken feed other like basic essentials and stuff like that but there are several things that you can actually repurpose to help like save money like, like let's just say you have like a really like crusty garbage can in your backyard give it a good clean you know make sure it's not crusty anymore and then turn that into their feed holder we actually have one except we actually bought that one from the store and it wasn't crusty unlike that barrel right over there that is more than crusty. So make sure that your chickens have what they need for, for their journey throughout your time there. Now out in the suburbs, we actually have like a lot more access to like water and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna say something extremely obvious, but you're probably gonna wanna set up an area where you can clean their water. Yeah, that's, that's literally it. One thing I'd recommend you apply is like, I think it was like, I don't remember what it was, I'll talk about that in a later video about chicken feed. You know what? Uh, you know what? Let's let's continue talking about this. Now, sometimes out in the suburbs, sometimes we have dead grass in our backyard. That's exactly what my backyard looked like. Literally, there was just a bunch of dead grass until we moved out. Because that's what anyone would do when they're selling their house. You just put grass in their yard. You just put grass in your yard. So if you don't already have grass in your yard, put grass in your yard. It's literally not that hard anyways. You know what? What is the point of this video? <laughs> now, if you have a garden or something in your yard where, you know, where, you know, you have something like toxic plants for your chickens, then yeah, you, you want to make sure there's actually a fence here. Because like, imagine you're just letting your chickens just free in, in like a garden. I mean, so much of these plants are toxic to chickens. I was almost about to say intoxicated and I don't know why. So peppers are toxic. These are toxic. The chickens just don't like basil. These are toxic. I don't know if these are toxic, but green beans, they are. So you know what? That's, that's my own problem. We need to fence off the chickens from this yard because they will occasionally be in. And that's what you should do for any toxic plant in your garden. You know, pretty easy. 
Now, if your chicken ever decides it wants to get an illness, the treatment still goes the same. See what you can do at home, and if you can't do anything at home, take them to the vet. It literally is the exact same even if you live out in the countryside or if you live out in the city. Doesn't matter if you're allowed to raise chickens downtown, the process still goes the same. Injured chicken or a sick chicken, see what you can do at home, and if there's nothing you can do at home, bring them to the vet. The process will always be the same.